All right, so now um, what we're going to look at is sometimes what's what are called special products. Um, all right, so special products. These are just common um, patterns that you can see. So common, in fact, that it's worth kind of memorizing what ends up happening. So if we're taking x plus 2 times x minus 2, um, using what we've already seen, we, we know how to do this. We can take each term in the first parentheses, multiply by each term in the second. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Then I'll move on to the 2. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And you can see what ended up happening here, or what's going to about to happen. The negative 2x and the positive 2x, well, th those would give us 0x, which means they just cancel. So we end up with x squared minus 4. So what allowed this to happen is that we had two terms that are the exact same, except they're opposites. Um, and we end up having this sort of pattern whenever we have a difference and a sum that we're multiplying together. It doesn't have to be a difference and a sum. It could be a sum times a difference, so a plus b times a minus b. Um, this would give us the same thing. Of course, we have a commutative property, so I could swap those around. But um, So it doesn't matter which one is written as the sum and, or the plus and which one's written as the minus. But let's just look to see that this happens in general. a times a is a squared. a times b is a b. Uh, the opposite of b times a, that's a negative a b. I have the opposite of the, the negative there. And then the opposite of b times b is minus b squared. When these two cancel, ab and negative ab, they, they sum to 0, we end up with a squared minus b squared. This is sometimes called the difference of squares. And like I said, this is a common pattern that you end up seeing. Um, you end up taking the first whatever is in the first term here, squared, minus whatever is in the second term, squared. a squared minus b squared, that's what this is saying. This um, is a, it, it's worth noting how it happens here, um, but later on, so if you were to, the, re, the real reason we end up noticing the difference of squares is because we're going to be doing eventually something called factoring. We're not really going to get it too, too much into it in this class, but if you were to continue on into a math uh, uh, an intermediate algebra class, you would end up starting with something like a squared minus b squared and saying, okay, how does this factor? You would end up saying, that, well, it ends up factoring as a plus b times a minus b. Um, this is the factored form. This is the simplified form. Right now we're just simplifying, but this is <clears throat> one of those um, certain patterns that you, if you notice the difference of squares here, and this is why it's called the difference of squares, if you notice the difference of squares, it kind of gives you a shortcut to the factored form. Um, but for our purposes right now, uh, for this class actually just in general, it's just kind of giving you a little shortcut. If you have, if you notice that you have a sum times the difference, you can just jump straight into the difference of their squares.